Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to a quick little uh, let you guys know kind of video. So there's only going to be one video today, but it's not exactly for the same purpose as the past two to four weeks prior to this. Um, I'm trying to make it a point to get back on the uh, on track of doing uh, two videos a day every day again, but. I'm making the exception for today, today for the sole purpose that the, the game video for today was originally going to be um, Dark Souls 2, but the last episode of that I actually said that I was going to take care of some um, stuff off screen to make sure it's ready for the next episode, and that hasn't fully been taken care of yet. So. I am going to be putting off that playthrough for another week. When next week hits, regardless of how far in I've gotten into this particular circumstance that I'm talking about, we will continue anyway. That being said, I figured I'd throw that out there really quick before starting this video. Um, there's been quite a bit going on recently. I ended up um, finishing my binge yesterday, which that was fun, lengthy. Thank heavens I'm a night owl and I don't work today, <laughs> otherwise that would have been bad. Um, but b binging, I, I guess that's, I, I brought that up because I kind of wanted to actually uh, talk about like show binging or film binging. My thoughts on it are kind of mixed. Uh, I, for me, I, I do like to binge, but I feel like there is a limit, and some people don't, some people do. I'm one of those weird people who, depending on circumstance, there should be a limit. A good example of this is actually um, that of... Um, I'm going to make a comparison example of things, some shows that I actually like watching. So, an example of a show I don't think that should be binged all the way through, like at once, would be the TV series Psych. I love Psych, but I don't think it's a good idea to binge the entire series at once. That includes the movies that they had released. Um, I think it's it, a great series, but I think it should be taken in portions. Um, I think it's just a bit too extensive and it might just kind of get bland if you try to throw all of it at once. And that's one example, one of multiple examples I could probably give. Some of them have different reasons, like Mythbusters, for example. It's not a story-driven show. It's, you know, a prove this right or wrong kind of thing uh, with some big explosions or science or stuff like that. Um... It's a great show, but it's one of those that you binge watch it, it'll get old and repetitive really fast. Um, now there are some shows that I feel like binging wouldn't exactly be a bad idea. For example, um, being that I like anime, I'm going to give a couple of animes as examples. Sword Art Online. Uh, it's a very short, like 15 episodic uh, anime, unless you're including Star Art Online 2, then it's like 30, I think. 50 at best. 50, 50 at most. Um, I don't remember. But that's one that I think, because of it's how short it is, but how indelved it keeps you, I, I think that kind of thing is worth binging. But if you want to go off with something that a lot of people know. How about the MCU? Marvel Cinematic Universe has grown a lot, and I personally think that it it's worth binging. Sure, obviously you can't do it all in one sitting, but each phase, let's go by that, each individual phase. Depending on the phase, they have different numbers of films within said phase. Um, like the first one only had like five movies, including the original Avengers. Just introducing the first four heroes in the Avengers. Um, and then the second set had like 
six, I think. But either way around, um, it kind of got extensive from there forward. But e even with that said, I do feel like it's worth binging that kind of stuff just because it keeps you involved and keeps you on the edge of your seat. You think you've figured out something, but then they throw something else at you. You're like, oh, well, okay. I'll pay attention, kind of thing. Um, movies, series like that, or TV shows that do that kind of thing, I feel is worth binge watching. Um, but when a show is just like a re repetition of the same pattern over and over and over again, even if there's a story involved or if there's not, I just don't think it's worth binging all at once. Maybe go spurts over the course of a few weeks or something, but don't binge watch it. But I don't know. These are my personal thoughts on the matter. What do you guys think? Um, is there a show that you would like to binge watch? Or show a show that you do like to binge watch? Let us know in the comments below. As for me, I would say that my favorite thing to binge watch would actually probably be um, uh, the anime Ruby, R-W-B-Y. Um, and it just grew another volume, so that's... I recently actually just finished binge-watching it as well, so I could watch that. But I don't know. It's This is my own personal opinion on the matter. Um, this is my thoughts. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And if you liked the video, make sure to give it a like, and consider subbing to the channel, because we do discussion and rant type of videos all the time. But in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Click link on this side of my head if you want to check out any of the other discussion around videos and this side if this doesn't quite fill your boat but you might be able to find something on this you think you might be able to find something on this channel you may enjoy that'll be over here if you do in the meantime though yeah gonna head off thanks again for tuning in guys and i will see all of you